Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geeky Limit Development and welcome to our Xcode tutorials where in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to add app icons into your iOS 8 project. Now already as you can see I have my project set up. It's a simple single view application for the iPhone and I simply named it App Icons for the purpose of this tutorial. Now in previous versions of Xcode and all the iOS's um, becomes new kind of techniques of how you do stuff. Now in the previous Xcode 5 implemented this image cassettes for you to add app icons in which if you just click here we have our images um, .x cassettes here for our app icons. Now this is where we implement our app icons within our project. Now if you don't have this set up if you just go back to the overview of your project and at the bottom here where we have app icons and launch images make sure that you have selected it to either use the basic cassettes within the application if it's already previously on an older project where you would simply name in the app icons to add them in. So if we jump back into here Okay then, so now this gives us all the possibilities of app icons we could have in our project. If you click on it and then go to the attributes inspector, you can see that we have different kind of options selected. Now we have three options selected at the moment, which is pretty default. And what we can do is select them and the more we select, the more app icons it adds in. So let's make this project a little bit bigger so you can clearly see. Now what these basically are is what version um, of your project you want your app icon to be for. Now if you are building for let's say the latest version of iOS which is iOS 8 you would only really want um, anything kind of that goes up to iOS 8. So in this case we have iOS 6 and prior sizes this is basically iOS 6 downwards. So if you're developing for every type of iOS including below iOS 6 then you would want all of those ticked. Now if you're just kind of um, creating it for maybe iOS 7 or solely for iOS 8, you would only really need to have the iOS 7 and later sizes kind of ticked. As this means you can have app icons for iOS 7 now upwards. Now if you are just developing for iOS 8, you will need to add app icons for iOS 7 and upwards. This doesn't mean that you're kind of building your application for iOS 7. This only means because with the latest version of iPhones become new sizes and that's kind of classed as iOS 8. With the kind of new iPads and iPads in general, even though they run on iOS 8, the app will still classes their icons as iOS 7. So just basically tick those and you'll be fine. Okay, so within this now, we have our individual kind of spaces for possible, possible um, app icons. So we have our spotlight, our settings icons, our again spotlight, the iPhone app icon, iPad settings, iPad spotlight and iPad app. Now to know what sizes you actually need, all you simply do is click on them. And make sure you're still in the attributes inspector because at the bottom here it says the size, which in this case is 29. Now this means that this app icon needs to be 29 pixels by tw um, 29 pixels. But really importantly, you need to make sure what scale it is. So as you can see here, this scale is 2x. This means it has to be times 2 the scale that it wants. So where it says it needs 29 by 29, you actually need, if I can do my calculations correct, 58 by 58. The same goes for the 3x. So you need to make sure that you scale it times 3. Uh, this is only purely down to these icons being within, well basically on, a retina screen. Now the 2x is for retina screens and the 3x is for basically retina HD screens which happens to be the latest versions of the iPhones. So each one of these has its own individual size. You can see here this one's 60 but you need to scale it times 3. And you can see the times is just underneath the spaces where they add the app icons in. Now as you can see on the desktop here I have a numerous amounts of app icons already prepared for me to place into the project to show you guys exactly how it works. Now to get all these individual sizes can be a bit of a hassle, creating numerous amounts of, let's say if you're working with Photoshop, canvases and you know trying to create it and recreate it, but there is simpler ways out there. Now I'm going to give you guys a tip and show you a website that really does help a lot when it comes to designing app icons. So before we jump to that, you can see here I have my original um, application icon file. 
It's something plain and simple which I created earlier. And if I just go to the tools, I believe it is, and adjust size, you can see that the size of it is 1024 by 1024. You need to have this version of the icon first as this is what you will place within iTunes Connect when you go to upload your app to the App Store. So having its biggest format possible is a must have before you start creating these smaller versions. So now that I've got that I'm ready to kind of get this icon and create all these individual ones. And a brilliant website which I was talking about earlier is this site here, makeapicon.com. What you basically do is you get your first or your original image, which just happens to be 1024 by 1024 pixels, and just simply drag and drop it into their little toaster. Now just wait a few seconds as they just kind of sort it out, and you can see here it gives us a preview of what your application icon will look like on an iDevice, and then gives us all the individual size of each icon we could possibly have. You can select if it's iOS or Android, and then all you need to simply do then is simply enter your email address and press download and then they'll email you all these individual application icons for every single size whether it be for iOS 7, iOS 8 or iOS 5 completely downwards. They cover everything. So that's a little tip for you guys if you're struggling to create your own application icons with all the sizes. It's a perfect thing for you to do. Okay, so I'm just getting rid of that now then. Okay, so now we've got our application icons here, all you simply need to do now is implement them into our project. And it's really simple. And all you have to do is simply drag and drop them into their spaces. Okay, so as you can see here, I have selected iOS 8 and later for the new iPhones. I have iOS 7 and later for old iPhones still running on iOS 7 and iOS 8. And the same goes for the iPad. So these are the icons that I'm going to need for my application. So what I need to do then, I'm going to start with the iPhone Spotlight and Settings. Uh, and it's 29 pixels uh, by 29. I need the times 2 and the times 3. So you can see here on my desktop, I've con kind of conveniently named them uh, Icon 29, Icon 29 times 2, because that's double the size of that one. Then Icon 29 times 3, which is triple the size of the first one and one and a half sizes bigger than the second one. So I need the times 2 and the times 3, so I'm simply going to drag and drop those in. Now conveniently, when you go to that website, makeapicon.com, they rename these files for you, so you'll have the same kind of view that I'm having and really easy to understand. That's another benefit of that website. So I need the 40 now, so I need the times 2 again and the times 3, the 60 times 2 times 3. Okay, so that's all the iPhone taken care of. Now we head over to the iPad, which then is the 22 uh, times 1 and times 2. So we need the smallest one, which is 22, 29 by 29 times 2. Now the reason these, they need these smaller is the fact that um, iPads don't have the Retina HD screen uh, like the iPhones do. Well, not yet, anyway. So we've got the 4 here, with the 40, so we need the times 1 and times 2. And the 76, which is just here, the times 1 and the times 2. So we've added all the icons we need for our application. You may have more, depending on whatever you selected. But like I said before, again, if you use that website to get your application icons resized, they should cover everything that you'll need. So you just have more options than what I'm kind of showing you at the moment, as we're only doing it for this. Okay, so now we've done that, if we go to build and run, and we can see how our application um, icons look within our app. So let's go to build and run now. So once our project's complete and that's running on the iPhone simulator, simply go to hardware and then go to home to simulate the home button. And then you can see now that our app icon is now placed in our kind of app icon, as you can call it there, on the home page. And it looks brilliant and it's clear for the device we're running on as we have all these individual sizes. So there you go. So make sure you go check out, bring it back up here again, make app icon that, you know, enable you to resize your larger um, app icon image. And it just saves a little bit of time and it's a brilliant resource to have when developing your own applications. So again, that's simply how you um, create and add app icons within iOS 8. 
Hey guys, just before we click off this video, I have a few more bits of information that I'd love to share with you. But just before I do, if this tutorial helped you in any way, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and follow us on social media. All the links will be in the description below. If you want more up-to-date and in-depth tutorials on iOS 8, Xcode 6 and the Swift language, then make sure you guys enroll in our complete iOS 8 and Xcode 6 course. The links will be in the description below. And if you guys want to learn on the go, make sure you download our Xcode tutorial application from the App Store where you can get much more than what we offer on YouTube. Again, links for this will be in the description below. And if you guys want to kick back and blow off a bit of steam, make sure you go check out my gaming channel where we have a lot of fun, play with a lot of friends and generally just have a good time. So make sure again you go subscribe to that channel. But once more, I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time.